Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between electron beam machining and electrochemical machining. In the electron beam machining process, a high velocity focused beam of electrons are used to remove the metal from the workpiece. This process is best suited for the micro cutting of materials. Electrochemical machining is a completely different process than the electron beam machining. Electrochemical machining is based on electrochemical energy where material removal takes place in the form of ions owing to electrochemical dissolution. So, let's look into the basic differences between electron beam machining and electrochemical machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1, electron beam machining is thermal energy based non-traditional machining process, whereas, electrochemical machining is electrochemical energy based non-traditional machining process. Number 2, in electron beam machining, material is removed from the workpiece in molten and vaporized state, whereas, in electrochemical machining, material is removed from the workpiece in ionic form, that is, in the form of ions, caused by electrochemical dissolution. Number 3, in electron beam machining, a high intensity beam of electrons, which is focused and directed on the workpiece, is used to supply heat for material removal, whereas, in electrochemical machining, the electrochemical reaction between the workpiece, electrode and electrolyte under the presence of external voltage leads to material removal following the Faraday's law. Number 4, so-called tool electrode is not used in electron beam machining process. The electron beam itself removes material, whereas, in electrochemical machining, a form tool having profile based on the intended feature is indispensably required to carry on electrochemical reaction. Number 5, in electron beam machining, workpiece is not made any electrode. However, it is grounded to maintain electrical neutrality by dispensing striking electrons, whereas, in electrochemical machining, workpiece is made one electrode. However, its polarity is selected based on tool material and electrolyte. Number 6, in electron beam machining, the workpiece is not immersed in any fluid. In fact, entire machining operation is carried out in a vacuum chamber, whereas, in electrochemical machining, the workpiece as well as the tool is immersed in a suitable electrolyte to assist electrochemical dissolution. Number 7, during electron beam machining process, X-ray generation takes place. It possesses health risk to the operator. Whereas, no such X-ray generation takes place during electrochemical machining process. Number 8, in electron beam machining, material removal takes place from all such points on the workpiece where the electron beam is focused, whereas, in electrochemical machining, ionic dissolution rate is faster at the closest point between tool and workpiece. Thus surface asperities and waviness influence the dissolution rate significantly. Number 9, electron beam machining offers higher material removal rate. However, the time associated with the creation of vacuum chamber makes the process less productive, whereas, electrochemical machining is very slow process as material removal rate is very low. Number 10, in electron beam machining, quality of the machine surface is affected by the presence of recast layer, whereas, no such recast layer formation takes place in electrochemical machining. Number 11, since electron beam machining is a thermal process, so a narrow heat affected zone exists surrounding the machined feature, whereas, no heat affected zone exists in electrochemical machining as temperature remains close to room temperature during the process. And, difference number 12, electron beam machining offers high aspect ratio. Thus features like holes, deep pockets, etc. can be fabricated by electron beam machining. Whereas, electrochemical machining is not suitable process to fabricate features having high aspect ratio due to the inherent chance of tapering.